So it started off with the big port for AGEs. They thought that the bigger ports were going to be a benefit to making power. Then they incorporated something called TDIS plate, which was basically a set of tiny little throttle bodies in the intake runners to increase airspeed at low RPM. These were shut, and then at 4,500, these little throttle bodies inside the intake runners would actually open up, and then it would increase the airspeed. Toyota then quickly realized, and I think this is probably when fuel was probably getting better in the industry, that after that, what happened is Toyota said, oh, look, we can just increase the compression ratio and remove the TVIS because it's a failure point. I mean, it's more moving parts for no reason. They decreased the ports to a small port, which is just a fraction under the size of the big port ports, but they increased the compression ratio and that ended up netting them more horsepower because I don't think the big ports needed all that port. They also didn't have the compression ratio or the cam to really drive the power. So small ports were the later generation 